How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a book called uh, One by Catherine Otoshi and we'll be doing an art project based on that book. So that's coming up right now. <laughs> Hi guys, Mr. Mill. I found this book in the library and I can't wait to read it to you guys. So let's get going. So we have a new book today. This one's called One by Catherine Otoshi. So this is really cool. I'm sure you guys probably seen it before, but um, I figured I'd read it to you guys and uh, hopefully do art lesson with you guys based off of it. So let's get going. Blue was a quiet color. He enjoyed looking up at the sky, floating on the waves and on days he felt daring, splashing in rain puddles. Every once in a while, he wished he could be more sunny like yellow, or bright like green, or more regal like purple, or outgoing like orange. But overall, he liked being blue, except when he was with red. Red was a hothead. He liked to pick on blue. Red is a great color, he'd say. Red is hot, blue is not. Then blue would feel bad about being blue. Sometimes yellow comforted blue. Blue is a very nice color, she'd say. But yellow never said that in front of red. She never said, stop picking on blue. Green, purple, and orange thought blue was nice too, but they never told red to stop either. Every time Red said something mean, and no one spoke up, he got bigger, and bigger, and bigger. Soon, Red grew so big that everyone was afraid of him. No one dared to stop him. Red picked on all the colors. Then everyone felt a little blue. Until one came, he had a different shape with bold strokes and squared corners. He was funny, he made the colors laugh. Red saw this and got very hot. Stop laughing, he told yellow. Stop laughing, he told green. Stop laughing, he told purple and orange. And they did. Red rolled up to one. Stop laughing, he told him, but one stood up straight like an arrow and said, no. Red was mad, but one wouldn't budge, so Red rolled away. One turned to the colors and said, if someone is mean and picks on me, I for one stand up and say no. Then Yellow felt brave and said, me too. Green agreed and said, me three. Then purple became four, and orange became five. Blue saw the colors change. He wanted to count. Red grew red hot. He felt left out. He grew hotter and hotter and hotter. Red raced over to blue and said what he always did. Red is hot, blue is not. But this time, Blue stood up tall and became six. Red can be really hot, he said, but blue can be super cool. Red blew a fuse and tried to roll over blue. But everyone took a stand and said no. Seeing them stand tall, made Red feel very, very, very small. Then Red turned even redder and began rolling away. Blue called out, can Red be hot and Blue be cool? Red stopped in his tracks. Red can count too, said one. Red rocked and rolled and turned into seven. Everyone counts, they shouted. Then Red laughed and joined the fun. Sometimes it just takes one. Wow. 
All right, now that we read the book, let's get started on some artwork. So let's go over a materials list first of what we need. So first of all, we need a piece of paper. Any paper will do. Um, you need a pencil. Uh, if you want a black marker, uh, it's optional. And also you need six specific colors. You need at least uh, the primary colors. I might as well just go over them with you guys right now. Uh, the primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. And the secondary colors are orange, green, and purple, also known as violet. But uh, those are the six colors that you will need, and uh, I'll talk be I'll talk more about them during the video. So, anyways, you need those six colors: marker, pencil, and a piece of paper. Make sure when you're doing art, it's on a surface that uh, is more protected. So, say for instance, if you're a kitchen table or a coffee table, you don't want to make you don't want to do artwork directly on top of that surface because you'll get marks on it or uh, you'll ruin the surface because marker does go through the paper. Uh, maybe you'll go off the page by accident, so you want to make sure you don't do that, especially when at home learning art through video. So you want to make sure you don't do that. Now, make sure your paper is horizontal. The best way to do this project, that way everything looks even, is to try to center everything as best as possible. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fold the paper in half, just like a little book or a card, and then open it back up. I need a total of six circles to represent the six colors that we're about to use. We have two sides of the paper, right? Because we divide in half by folding in half on purpose, right? So that means there's going to be three on this side and three on this side to equal, you guessed it, six. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a circle, medium size, in the middle of each section. So one circle in the middle of this section of the page, and then one circle or oval middle over here. Now, all I gotta do is put two more on each side. So I'm gonna put maybe one over here, one over here. So we got three on this side. I just need two more on this side. One here, and one here. Now, we have six circles in total. Now, you don't have to write this if you don't want to, but um, I'm gonna write some emotions on top. That way I can label which one is which. So this is gonna be my happy one. You don't have to write this. The next one's gonna be sad. The next one's going to be angry. The next one's going to be confused. The next one's going to be disgust. You can probably guess what we're trying to do here. The next one's going to be scared. There was a Pixar movie, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's Inside Out. It's a Pixar Disney movie, and uh, I kind of got this idea from it when I was reading the book. Uh, and that's what basically all this project is about because I think uh, emotions is very uh, good lesson to learn in kindergarten. So well, here we go. So we have happy, sad, angry, confused, disgust, and scared. So let's go from there. So color for happy, it's going to be yellow. Okay. So I'm going to color this thing yellow, try to stay inside the lines. Hopefully you guys know how to do that. Uh, the next one is sad. We're going to copy the movie. We're going to add sad as blue. Now I try to use a light blue. That way it's... A little more pretty. I don't want to do dark blue, so just light blue. Next color is going to be my red. Red's going to represent angry, just like in the book and in the movie. <laughs> and then the next color I'm going to use for confused is orange. Now, if you guys don't know what secondary colors are, it's the ones that are going to be from here on out. And these are the primary colors. Does anyone know how to make orange? If you know how to make orange, raise your hand. If you don't know how to make orange, it's red plus yellow. So if you add these two colors together, it equals orange. Next color we're going to be using is green to represent disgust. Kind of like when you go like when you don't like a certain food and you go bleh. That's what I mean by disgust. Next color, and last but not least, is going to be scared. Now, uh, again, these are uh, secondary colors. So disgust is blue plus yellow. It'll equal green. And then for purple, it's red plus blue equals purple. There we go. So now we have that. And I did that in crayon. And if you didn't have crayon, if you had marker instead, or if you had color pencil, then that's fine too. So what I'm going to do now is add some faces. So let's get started. Happy. Happy is really easy, right? All you do is a nice big smiley face like this. And I'm going to add two eyes like that. Ta-da! That looks happy to me, right? All right, sad. Ooh. I'm gonna add uh, uh, maybe like a frown face first, like this. And then I'm gonna add maybe two eyes that are closed, maybe a teardrop. And then to make it even more sad, I'm gonna make eyebrows that are going kind of like this, outwards, like that, super sad. 
are angry. Now, the reason why I did the eyebrows on this side like this, is because of angry, I'm gonna turn the eyebrows the other direction. And I can do any eyes, type of eyes I want. So I'm gonna make me make capital D eyes like this. It kind of looks like sideways. And then I'm gonna add a mouth that looks like this. So I'm gonna make a triangle first, put a line through the triangle and add teeth. Ta-da, now that looks super angry, right? Um, for confused, that one's a little bit more difficult. Um, for confused, I like to add maybe like a little frown sideways, kind of like a diagonal. And then for eyes, let's do normal eyes, right? But then for the eyebrows, kind of one down like angry, but then the other one up, kind of like sad. See how I did that? Pretty cool, huh? For disgust, that one's a little bit more confusing, so I'm just gonna draw normal eyes first. And then I'm gonna draw a frown first, so it looks like it's sad, right? But then I'm gonna draw a wavy line on the bottom, and then a tongue, just like that. And then I'm gonna add maybe one angry eyebrow, but then the other eyebrow curves up really high. It's like over here. <laughs> That's great, right? All right, scared. The best way I can describe it is just do a nice big zero right in the middle for the mouth. You could do a tongue, and then the eyes right here, and then the eyebrows really high up, just like that. Now, here comes my favorite part, is adding the arms and legs. Now, if you want to add a body, like it's like a stick figure for a body, you can. I don't want to, so let's go from there. So, for the smiley, happy one, I'm just going to do normal feet. For this one, it's going to be a little bit taller, maybe feet a little bit more in. Uh, this angry one, feet out, like this. Uh, next one, confused, maybe bent knees, like that. For disgust, I'm going to have knees bent inwards, like this and even feet inwards. And then for scared, I'm going to do like how they're kind of like running. <laughs> so they're kind of going the same direction like that. Pretty cool. So now let's do uh, hands or arms. I should say arms. Arms, I'm gonna make this one, one down, this one waving. I'm gonna make this one really sad. So it's gonna be having like his hands together, kind of like that. Uh, for angry, I'm gonna do hands to the side, like this, like this. Ugh. For confused, I'll just go like this. So I'm gonna maybe add like this, like their hands are up. For disgust, I'm gonna make their hands go like towards their face, towards their mouth. And for scared, you can kind of make wavy arms going up. Ta-da! Now, see how hard that is to see from far away? That's why I suggested if you wanna do a marker or some black marker, I suggest that because look what happened. I'm gonna do it to half the page and you guys can tell if it's better or not. So I'm gonna outline my circles. And notice, I'm gonna show you guys in one minute, uh, if you guys do this marker, um, something bad happens. Now, when you're on like a coffee table or a kitchen counter uh, and you don't have something underneath on like, printer paper, uh, if you don't know what happens, it goes through. And you don't want that to happen, especially at home. So I'm gonna show you guys right now what just happened. The marker is kind of going through. Well, this is a professional uh, like art marker, so it doesn't go through as much as maybe like a Sharpie. So you want to make sure you double check your surfaces to see if the marker is going through because that's the last thing I want to see is on art on the first day, you're ruining this furniture around the house. So let's not do that. So anyways, I'm going to keep outlining the figures. Here we go. All right. So I just finished doing the left side. Now, doesn't that look better than this side over here? So let's keep going and then we'll finish from there. So I'm going to speed up the video a tad bit. All right, and that's it. So we just did some emotions using that book and along with some ideas that we had. And uh, I'm gonna call that done for our first artwork of the year. Um, I wanna do more of this uh, video, but I can't because I'm running out of time and I think I'm running kind of long on this video. So I'm just gonna end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please email me. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.